Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. The secret to have a clean M112 or M113 engine is the rocker cover gaskets or the valve cover gaskets. They should be in very good shape. The valve cover gaskets for M113 and M112 engine is a bit tricky and this is notorious to leak oil and you need to take care of it. And the process is a bit lengthy kind of project. It almost takes half a day to do this job. So it's a pretty uh, long project. If you plan to do your valve covers and it happened that your spark plugs needs to be replaced, it's a good idea to do these two projects at the same time. And that decreases the time you spend on these two projects because it's much easier to remove the spark plugs without the valve covers at the same time not having those coil packs hanging off the spark plugs and removing the rocker covers so guys let's have a look i include as much as information in between and i will use fast forward uh, 10x speed Okay, two points to mention over here. First of all, in removing these connectors and pushing the tabs, be extra vigilant because at this time, due to the heat, excessive heat and the age of the car, these plastics are very fragile. On this side, it came out pretty neat. On the other side, I broke two of these tabs, unfortunately. The second important point is removing these uh, plugs after 120k or 20 years these are almost impossible to remove with only using hands you need to use some sort of tools for me there was only one way of removing this using a 19 mil spanner and then using another spanner on it so using this leverage to pull out the spot plug uh, boot and then you don't want to apply too much force. You just want to gradually uh, work it out, not at once, to break uh, the rocket cover or uh, the spark plug boot. And uh, that was that is the only way these are removable because they are almost welded to the uh, what you call it uh, even this one and uh, the very uh, the ones at the very ends are very tough to remove and it's almost even um, impossible with without using another leverage over here. So be extra careful here because there is a this one is almost loose but it's still resisting. Yep. So this is the way I remove these uh, spark plug boots. So the spark plug sticks to this rubber over here and it becomes very tough. So you need to uh, put your spanner behind this or if you have a, a spark plug boot remover for Mercedes, that would actually work better. Okay, I had to try uh, the last one with a shorter spanner, number 17, which is a bit shorter but it's finally removed. So these are tips and tricks that uh, something else might work for you, but this actually worked for me at least. I have done this side of the plugs so far. All four coils and uh, boots are removed. 
looking at this uh, rocket cover, I can see there is a lot of leak coming from uh, this smaller kind of gasket over here. Okay, let's remove the rocker cover. E-type sockets you can use as well. I'm now using normal eight number eight socket. Okay, one more important uh, point before continuing over here with removing these all these bolts. There are two PCV lines over here, one bigger over here and one smaller size. These are very fragile and dry now. The only way to remove them safely is to heat them up with a heat gun before trying to remove them. Otherwise, they will crack. I have this experience from my CLK320 that these would crack if you don't take care and uh, heat them up beforehand. The valve train is still not that bad with some sludges that are not dried out. Okay, spark plugs are removed. I need to do a little cleanup on the exhaust manifold. I have cleaned a bit around where the uh, gasket seats on the rocker cover area. And I have cleaned some of the sludges on from the top of the valve train. Okay, the rocket covers are getting pretty clean. Uh, I have put some petrol inside them and I left them for a few uh, minutes and I'm scrubbing with that brush and they are becoming pretty 
clean uh, so all the gunks and sludges were soft type of sludges so there shouldn't be any problem for them to be clean I'll show you the final result in few minutes so here is the final result here is as clean as I could get them I wash them with few different detergent and solvents and this is but what you really want to make sure is these groove over here it needs to be really clean and now we are moving to remove this secondary uh, valve cover the smaller ones same same on here so two screws and three screws we remove this and we fix the breather cover gasket okay here is the problem these uh, these bolts are aluminium type and obviously they are of single use and as soon as you remove them you'll see that the thread is almost gone Yes, the thread is not as good as it should be now. It's the thread is faded and and we have to replace them with steel bolts. So now trying to gently and carefully Okay, now these gaskets around the, around the uh, valve cover, small valve covers, needs to be cleaned and removed. Gently and slowly. It's important to uh, clean this hole over here. This is a very important process because this is the main uh, breather hole and you want that to be really clean. Same about the other one. This one is about two millimeter a hole only that needs to be super clean. Okay. I have cleaned inside these cavities, uh, the PCV uh, breather cavities, as uh, much as I could. Let me tell you something else. If this is your first time uh, changing the uh, gasket for M112 and M113 engine, you should know that these uh, covers are notorious to leak oil. And 50% of the time, the problem is these little covers over here so it's a very time-consuming process it needs some patience and make sure you uh, take your time in between relax uh, give it few hours at least five six hours and most of it is involved in washing cleaning and using adhesive and patience Okay, as I said, these are aluminium uh, bolts and you probably need to replace them because the threads are already gone. So I'm using some steel Allen key type of uh, bolts. These are what I had. If you want to replace these with OEM parts, of course, that's better and more recommended. Okay. I'm going to use adhesive gasket maker silicone around this area and put everything back. Okay, your gasket maker should be uh, oil and temperature resistance. This is 500 degrees resistance and oil resistance and its set time is in one hour. And make sure you use the best brand you know because you don't want to repeat this process again.
You want to make sure you put it around the bolts. Now I can see the gasket may kill all around it. Torque these bolts in 10 to 15 minutes by 5 newton meter. Okay, I'm done here and in 20 minutes time, I will torque these to 5 newton meter. Gradually torquing down these to 5 newton meter. So I'm going to apply some of these uh, silicone adhesive to this area, to this area which is tricky and that area. Also for the other one I'm going to use it around this area, this area and that area. So these are tricky areas that I'm a bit afraid that I uh, miss it. So I'm going to apply some of these gasket maker. Okay, the gaskets are installed on and we are ready to install. Okay, before installation, make sure that the around the surrounding area is clear and clean and this area over here is all clean and nice and then and then make sure nothing is sticking out from here. Okay. The cover is well seated now without torquing, just slightly screwing in the bolts. Now I'm going to torque them first for 5 newton meter. Okay, I have torqued uh, all the bolts with a 5 newton meter uh, ratchet. Now I'm going to increase the torque to 8 newton meter, which is the last step. Okay, 8 newton meter torquing is done. I'm going to move to the next cylinder head.
Okay, torquing down to five newton meter first. Now back to eight newton meter. Okay, now that all the bolts are torqued and everything is back nice and clean, don't forget the breather hose, three of them, and also the fuel line, very important. Okay guys, the project is done. Thank you so much for watching and supporting, subscribing and liking the video.